Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be taking a look at the 1906R New Balance Silhouette in four different colorways today. I know it sounds like a lot, uh, but definitely want to hear your thoughts on which colorway is your favorite out of the four that recently released. So we've got the black colorway, we have the turtle dove colorway, as well as the reflection colorway and harbor gray. So let's take a quick little sneak peek on those different colors. unboxing and review if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we've got a lot of content coming out that i don't want you to miss out on as well as be sure to check out that join button if you want to become a member of the shade community we would love to have you as well as check out some of those items we've got in our merch store all right so today we are going to be talking about the 1906R Protection Pack. Uh, and this came in four different colorways. So we'll go through, give a little spiel on each of the different color variations. I'm gonna talk a little bit more in depth on the technology on these. Uh, so we'll start off with that overview, a jump into size and fit on these. Then we'll talk a little bit about how I styled each of these different colorways. And we'll conclude with how each of these colors are doing on the reason sell market. All right, so let's jump right into it. I was so excited, obviously, to be able to pick up all four different colorways so that I can unbox basically each of these individually for you. Uh, so basically, this came in four different colorways. This one that I'm holding in my hand right now is the reflection colorway. Uh, we've got harbor gray here turtle dove here as well as black. So a lot of different color variations. It's kind of basically up to your kind of taste as far as which one you probably prefer out of these four. I'll definitely let you know at the end of this video which colorway is my favorite, but I would love to hear from you as well. So this is pretty much following its predecessor, which is the 2002R Protection Pack. As you know, I have done lots of different color variations on the 2002R Protection Pack, so I'm really excited to see how this is going to follow in those different footsteps that have already been paved through that silhouette. I uh, definitely love that they decided to bring that same kind of concept on the 1906R. Uh, I think that this is a great silhouette, and I feel like the different you uses of that same kind of feel to the silhouette definitely adds to it. So included in the regular 1906R, this also contains that N-Lock technology, which you can see here. Uh, this definitely varies in different color schemes depending on which color scheme we're talking about, but this one has the black here. So in comparison to the regular 1906, one of the things you'll notice is this is slightly different. So typically this looks just like a regular lace. Uh, whereas this one is a definitely a different kind of ribbon looking leather material. So I like how they switched it up and didn't really keep that exactly the same. Uh, so this is in part because the end is actually made up of reflective secure straps uh, that can wrap around uh, your foot to basically create just a more lockdown fit. This is reminiscent of the phase where Nike was actually using this kind of tech support uh, for the Nike Lunar Eclipse 2 and the Nike Free Run 3. 
Uh, different from the regular 1906, the overlay has been replaced by the rigid rock formation design, similar to that of the 2002 R, uh, including soft and hairy suede, which you can kind of see throughout here. Uh, and this is basically covering a majority of the sneaker, that really just furry kind of hairy suede that you see on here. And I feel like this is creating a beautiful type of contrast between the other materials that you see throughout this sneaker. Uh, this pair rocks basically the exact same technology midsole, which comes from the 860 V2, which is a model that still basically is one of New Balance's premium stability daily trainers. And that premium stability daily trainer basically focuses on medial stability while also retaining that flexibility. All right, I think it's time for me to put my glasses on. Class is about to be in session. So everybody, please take your seats. I'm missing, I'm missing my lab coat. Mr. Producer, toss me my lab coat. Uh, not exactly a lab coat, but you know what? This, I guess, is uh, going to have to do. Looks nice and cozy, actually. All right, class. Today we are going to learn about some of the key features and technology on this specific 1906 R. So if you don't already, please, please be sure to take those notepads out and a pen and pencil because I want you to be able to be prepared for our exam when I'm going to quiz you on what exactly these sneakers are all completely and fully about. So let's get started. All right, so the cushion is made up of New Balance's Activa Light midsole foam, which is 24% lighter, if you can believe, than the conventional foam that is actually used in other New Balance silhouettes. Uh, it also contains energy. So as you can see on the lateral side here, which is a basically responsive thermoplastic gel that is loaded in the heel portion to create a smooth transition. Compare this to basically a thin layer of ASICS gel. So for those of you who are ASICS fans, I feel like that is the perfect comparison to this. And that thin layer of ASICS gel basically is their signature premium line in the Cumulus, the Nimbus, as well as the Keikano, which have done a lot on the channel. And that has better compression uh, which is better shock absorption, so it can be easier on your joints. All right, so let's get into the color palette details on each of these different colorways that released on this specific silhouette. Where shall we start? Why don't we start with the black colorway? So as you can see, we've got black and dark charcoal grays and more of a black finish on the back here. We also have this really beautiful kind of age look with this tan colorway, hits of more of that charcoal gray, and of course that kind of worn down speckled effect on the bottom of the outsole, as well as just black laces. This is definitely refreshing because you don't really see New Balance dropping a ton of black colorways. So I was really excited to be able to snag this specific color. Uh, next up is the Turtle Dove. So this is probably my least favorite of the four that released. I'm just not too big of a fan of this black kind of midsole. I feel like if it was more of a cream color, which matched the premium suede, as well as uh, just some of the other aspects aspects of the sneaker, it would have blended a little bit better. Uh, but I do like that they kind of kept it monochromatic at the top portion of the sneaker itself in that cream off-white sale colorway. Next up is the Reflection. This is probably my second favorite out of the four. Uh, what I love about this one is just that color combination. I love how they kind of use just gold and silver tones throughout this to just give it kind of a luxurious feel. But I love how they kind of integrated again that lighter midsole, which I wish they kind of did on that turtle dove, but I do love the color variations. I feel like these just all work so perfectly together. Last but not least is the Harbor Gray. So of course, if you're a New Balance fan, you're probably a huge fan 
of this just because obviously New Balance does gray so well. I just feel like I have so many different gray New Balances at this point that this just kind of blends in with a lot of my other uh, gray color palettes. But I do love the different gray hues that they use throughout this with the cream laces as well as that kind of matte gray finish on the back. And I also love that they use that same midsole as they did on the black colorway, which again is in that just kind of nice, creamy, almost coffee stained color scheme. So now let's talk about size and fit on these. I would say six true to size on this one. I am a seven and a half in the 1906R. Uh, so I do have high arch neural feet, depending on whether or not you have flat or wider feet that could actually differentiate a size completely opposite from my own since we do have different types of feet. All right, now let's jump into styling. For the reflection colorway, I definitely wanted to play with some different color tones since you see lots of different colors throughout this silhouette. So I decided to go with this denim romper, which is in a kind of cream whitish tone. And then I decided to style it with this really cool just necktie that has a metallic -y colorway, which you see lots of metallic on that outline at the end. And then I decided to layer this with this really just cool detailed embellished uh, trench coat, which has nice metallic little studs on it as well as some jewels. I decided to wear lots of gray in this look with a hint of black since you kind of see that on the outsole. So I decided to go with this Zara head to toe gray look with a kind of little turtleneck with matching wide leg gray pants. And I layered it with this trench coat from their runway line, which is just a nice kind of oversized trench for a nice warm look. Turtle Love colorway, which is a nice cream base and it has some hits of just black throughout, I decided to go with those same color combinations. So I chose some pieces again from Zara Runway line and I wore this black and a maxi dress underneath. I layered that with a cream turtleneck and a black trench coat just to kind of match and mimic the color tones in this specific shade. Black colorway of the 1906, I decided to add a bit of metallic silver since there are hits of metallic silver and bronze throughout the sneaker. So I went with this metallic silver jacket. Underneath I wore just a nice tight fitted bustier top. And then for the pants, I wore some simple, just black cargo pants. Definitely black is gonna be a go-to colorway to wear with this specific color scheme. Alright, 
So now you let me know down below, what was your favorite color of the four sneakers from the 1906 drop? Also, what was your favorite look out of the four that I styled for you? jump into the resale on these starting with the black colorway for those of you who don't know the retail price point of these these all retailed at 170 dollars the black colorway is actually i feel like doing the best as far as the uh range so this is going between 200 to 250. the turtle dove is doing uh, around 190 to 220 and then let's skip over here to the reflection which is going between 175 to 250 and then the harbor gray is 185 to 220. All right, so before we go, we are gonna be doing another trivia question today. So again, if you have not seen my videos on trivia, we are doing a competition where the person who has answered the most trivia questions by the end of the month will receive a gift. Again, if it is a tie, we will be putting you in a raffle and then picking from there. Uh, but today's trivia question is, when did the 1906 first drop? So be sure to put those answers in the comment box and we will be adding those up and and keeping track of all those tallies to see who will win at the end of the month. So good luck to all of you. All right, everybody, that is it for this unboxing and review. Thank you so much for joining. If you haven't hit that subscribe yet, be sure to do that right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa. We'll catch you on the next episode. Like that.